Hello everyone and welcome to this video, another in the Fight Night series brought to you by James from MySmarterHome.com. My Fight Night series of videos contains comparisons of popular smart devices and to make it more light hearted I use a boxing match format. The two devices that are in the ring in today's video are the Ecobee 3 smart thermostat and the Ecobee Smart C smart thermostat. In this comparison I've collected as many details as I could about each product and broken the details down into short sections to make my boxing rounds. The fight contains 8 rounds and after each round I will tell you who in my opinion has won and at the end of the comparison I will declare an overall winner. So here we have a photo of the, the Ecobee 3 and the Ecobee Smart C. I don't want to tell you which of these smart thermostats that I like the look of more because I think that the look of a product is something that is down to personal taste. What all my videos tend to focus on instead is the cold hard facts of specifications. So let's go into round one which is the basic specifications and let's get the thermostats into the ring and let's have a look at what the, they're being judged on. So the first feature is who makes the thermostats and of course they're both made by Ecobee and then when were these thermostats first available for sale um, and the Smart C was first available in July 2012 so that makes it nearly five years old whereas the Ecobee 3 is a much more recent, it's just less than two years old. Um, Weight, in terms of weight, there's not a lot of difference. The the Ecobee 3 is 1.4 pounds, whereas the Smart C is 12.5 ounces. Then in terms of size, again, there's not an awful lot of difference. The Ecobee 3 is slightly smaller. It's um, 4 by 4 by 0 0.9 inches, whereas the Smart C is 5.5 by 3.2 by 1 inches and then in terms of price the Ecobee 3 is 190 is currently 189.97 whereas the Smart C is 152 dollars and of course the important thing about price is that they are subject to change okay so at the end of round one I think it's the Ecobee 3 who is the winner. Although it's £30, $30 extra, it's less than two years old and it looks much more stylish than its stable mate, the Smart C. Okay, so let's move on to round two. So let's get the smart thermostats in and let's have a look at what some of the criteria is all about. It's about design and power. So the first one here is about colours. The Ecobee 3 is only available in black and the Smart C is only available in white. The Ecobee 3 is plastic and as is the Smart C, so they're made of the same thing. In terms of power, they both require the 24 volts, the C wire connection or a PEK, which is a power extender kit, which you can get which actually comes with the Ecobee 3 and you can buy as an added extra for the Smart C. Now in terms of the, the screens, they are both colour screens. In terms of the size, the Ecobee 3 is 3.5 inches, whereas the Smart C is 2.5 inches in size. Touch screen wise, the Ecobee 3 has a touch screen, the Smart C doesn't have a a touch screen and then in terms of the resolution of the screen they are both 320 by 480 pixels so they're both the same in that respect so let's have a look at the end of round two and I think this also goes to the Ecobee 3 a close one as they are very similar but the Ecobee 3 has a touch screen and the Smart C doesn't Okay, round three, smart heating features. So let's get the 
thermostats in and let's have a look at some of the different criteria that we're going to look at in this round. So the first thing is about the program pro programming and both the Ecobee 3 and the Smart C both use both have to be manually programmed. The reason for including this is there are some thermostats out there such as the Nest who actually don't need any programming because they have an auto learn capability. Right, let's have a look at terms of the next feature is all about room sensors. The Ecobee 3 uses room sensors whereas the Smart C doesn't. Geofencing, both of these thermostats have geofencing capabilities. Geofencing, just very quickly, is the ability of the thermostat to be able to sense when anyone is actually in the home. And by sensing if anyone is in the home, they can then turn the system off, essentially. Right, remote access, this is another crucial, crucial kind of criteria and desire for a lot of smart products. So let's have a look. Both of them have uh, remote access. Energy saving. Both of them have the, exactly the same energy saving features. They reckon it's about 23% per annum per year energy saving you will um, you will get by buying one of these thermostats. The other thing is both of them um, give you energy reports and that is the software inside the thermostat kind of analyzes how you use your power and then send you a report every month with some energy saving tips. And then in terms of weather forecast, um, both of them have got a five day weather forecast. As far as I'm aware, the Ecobee 3, uh, the forecast, the five day forecast is actually on the thermostat itself. Whereas for the Smart C, the forecast is available via the app that you have for it. Right, let's have a look at the winner of round three is going to be the Ecobee 3 again. Perhaps no surprise there. Again, very similar features, but the Ecobee 3 uses room sensors, which I think are going to be really important in the future for controlling our houses. And the Smart C doesn't use the Smart C doesn't use uh, room sensors. Okay, round four is all about some of the heating features. So let's get the thermostats back in. And then let's have a look at some of the criteria. We've got um, gas, electric, oil and dual fuel. Both of these thermostats uh, are use gas. Both of them can be used with electric systems. Both of them can be used with oil systems. And both of them can be used with the dual fuel systems. And just to clarify there, that's 20 volts, sorry, 20 volt. 24 volt um, heating systems that we're talking about. So round four is going to be a draw because exactly the same features. Let's have a look at some other aspects of the heating systems. So let's get the thermostats in and let's have a look at what some of the features are. In terms of conventional systems using furnaces and things then the ECOB3 has a two, two heating, two stage of heating and two stage of cooling, as does the um, Smart C, two heating and two cooling. Using a heat pump system, it's the ECOB3 is a four heating and a two, two cooling stage system, whereas the Smart C is a three heating and a two cooling. So the ECOB3 can do one stage more of heating in that respect. And let's have a look at the humidifiers. Uh, Ecobee 3 can control a humidifier, whereas the Smart C can't. Okay, so round five, again, the Ecobee 3 takes it. And the difference is just the ability of being able to control a humidifier. Right, round six, let's have a look at this. This is all about the re remote access and the different software that you can use for it. So first of all, the 
for using it with your iPad and your iPhone on the iOS um, the iOS app the Echo B3 uses version 9 or later whereas a Smart C is exactly the same using it on your Android tablet or your Android phone such as your Galaxy I'm a bit unclear about this because originally I put that it needed your devices needed Android 4.3 but I've since looked at it and it's saying that it depends on it depends on exactly which Android device you have. So sorry, I'm a little bit vague on that at the moment, but I'll keep looking into it and hopefully get back to you. Or if you know, then please let me know and I can include it in my notes at the end of this video. In terms of the apps uh, for any apps for the Windows 10 mobile system, Ekabi don't actually do any official apps for these for these thermostats. Right, you can also use Firefox, both of them, um, you can use Firefox or you can use Internet Explorer or you can use Google Chrome to access and control your device via the Ekabi web portal. So round six, because again, there was, um, they were exactly the same feature set, that is a draw. Okay, round seven, let's have a look at the home automation stuff. This again is a, this is an incredibly popular feature with people who buy it or people who want to buy it. So let's have a look. So what I've done here is we've got the Amazon Echo, we've got IF Triple T, we've got Apple HomeKit, we've got Wink, and we've got Smart Things. Both of them work with Amazon Echo. Both of them work with IF Triple T. Only the Echo B3 works with Apple HomeKit. Both of them work with the Wink system. And both of them work with the Samsung SmartThing system. So again, there's only one difference. And that's the Apple HomeKit. So I've done that as a draw there between the two devices. And finally, let's move on to round eight. So let's have a look at... The different features here firstly is the overall ratings um, and the echo b3 has 4.4 out of 5 the smart c has 4.3 out of 5 in terms of the reviews the echo b3 has three and a half thousand reviews that have been written about it and since its release that roughly equates to 152 reviews per month that have been written about it the smart c has uh, 247 reviews and that is roughly about four reviews are being written a month so you can see there that the Echo B3 is way out in front in terms of the number of questions that have been answered well the Echo B3 has had 623 questions that have been answered and the Smart C is 108 questions which have been answered and then in terms of the percentage of the percent percentage of the ratings which have been given as five star for the Echo B3 it's 80 percent of all ratings have been that have been written have graded it as five star whereas for the smart C only 67 percent of the ratings have graded it as five star so the Echo B3 is a clear winner there and then the percentage of ratings which have graded the device as one star the Echo B3, 5% of all of its ratings have given it one, uh, one star. And the Smart C, 8% of all the ratings have graded it as one star. So the Smart C has more of those, um, unfortunately. So there you go. So let's have a look at the... Um, oh, it's just important to say that, of course, the reviews and ratings will be subject to change although the general trend will probably remain the same and then in terms of round eight who won the reviews and ratings again it's the Echo B3 and the overall winner is of course the Echo B3 which isn't a which isn't a surprise um, it's more expensive it has a few more features but it just looks the part. 
Thank you for watching this video on the comparison between the Ecobee 3 and the Smart C Smart Thermostats.